from Fat to Fit. Hey, it's Jess from Fat to Fit. Today we are going to do a chest and tricep workout. So get your weights and let's get started. First, we're going to do uh, the chest press and then we'll go right into chest flies, okay? So let's get started. I started a little bit heavier um, than what I usually do. These are 15 pounds on each side. And if I have to drop the weight, I'll drop the weight, but I'm gonna start out uh, at 15. Some of you can probably do a lot more than that. But here we go. We're gonna do two, um, we're gonna do one set of 10 for this and one set of 10 for the fly. You want to squeeze at the top, go right over your chest. This is five. Squeeze like a pencil in between your chest muscles. Ten. Squeeze at the top. All right, great job. We're going to go right into flies. You can go ahead of me and do your 10 if you're keeping the same weight. I have to drop down and do 10 on my flies. I tried 15 the last time and it was a little too heavy. So I'm going to bump it down to 10 pounds on each side. And we'll go right into chest flies. All right, here we go. Plus flats, we're going 10. You want your elbows to be somewhat bent, but not too bent. But you don't want to be straight out like this. All right, so we're going to do 10, right over the chest. One, squeeze at the top. Two, and you see I do this one wrong. I'm over my eyes, okay? You want it to be over your chest. Three. Five, six, core tight, seven, eight, nine, make sure you're breathing, ten, there we go. All right, so keep your core tight as I mentioned the whole time and um, make sure you're really squeezing your chest muscles when you come up. And you can also do these on the floor if you want to. If your shoulders and your, your back need more support, you're welcome to lay on the floor and do these exercises as well. So now I'm bumping it back up to 15. We're going back into the regular chest press. And I'm gonna come at you from a different angle this time. All right, so we're going 10 of these and we'll do 10 of the flies again. Again, you'll see me change my weight before I do my flies. So regular press, here we go. 10 of them, one. Remember to come straight over top of your chest muscles. Two, three, four. Keep your core tight. Five. Exhale on the work. Six. Breathe in on the way down. Out, up. Ten. All right, let's go into our flies. You guys are doing a great job. Fantastic job. Keep it up. Be consistent. You will see the results you're looking for. All right. Go to flies. Two. Three. Get to keep your core tight. Six, seven, 
right. Nine. Last one. Squeeze. Ten. Good job. Back into your regular press. Chest press. I'm gonna bump it back up to fifteen. If it feels too easy, like you're not getting a workout, <laughs> you're not getting breathing a little heavy or sweating, increase your weight. If you feel like you're really struggling and you're not keeping your form, you need to come down a little bit, okay? All right, back in the chest press. One, remember, right over your chest. Two, not over your head. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now into flies. These will be the last, last exercise of the first round. We've got three rounds. Going back down to 10 pounds on each dumbbell. These are nice dumbbells to use, but I personally like the free weight dumbbells the best. These are just nice if you have. You need to save space. But they change really easy too. All right, back into flies. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, 10. Great job, great job. All right, now we're going to go into our second set. I'm sorry, second round. And we're going into the rotating press and tricep kickbacks. This is what's gonna be in this round. For the kickbacks, I start seven and a half pounds on each side. And um, the rotating press, I'm gonna start at 15 and we'll see how it goes. But let's go ahead and do the tricep kickback first. And we're doing 10 of each exercise again for this one. So for this one, you want to have your feet underneath your shoulders a good width apart. You don't want to be like this, but have your feet shoulder width apart. Pitch yourself forward a little bit. You want to keep your elbows locked into your side. All right, so don't allow them to move like this. Locked into your side, and you don't want to do this motion. You want to stay locked in, keep your core tight, your elbows in your side, and you'll go. You'll start. You don't want to have to come clear up like this but about right here is good. And you'll kick it back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Really squeeze. Nine. I come up a little too high on that last one. But you should really feel your tricep burning as you squeeze that muscle back. You should really feel it back in the back of your arm. Okay, next we go into rotating press. And um, I am at 15, as I said a little bit ago. Now I started, when I started doing this, I even started less than what I'm doing now. So I've come up some, 
and weight. Sometimes I only increase weight by two and a half pounds each week, but it is not about how heavy you start off, but you build. The more that you do this, you build. All right, so rotating chest press. So you start out like a regular chest press, and then you rotate as you come up. All right, remember right over your chest, not above your head. And we're going 10. So up, and then you rotate, squeeze. One, two, three. Hold tight. Breathe. Seven. These 15 pounds are getting heavy for me. Ten. But I'm not losing my form, so I'm not going to put my weight down and I'm not losing my form, so I'm going to leave them alone. We're back down to 7.7 and a half pounds to go back into our tricep kickbacks. All right, so I'll come from the front this time. Back a little bit. And again, feet shoulder width apart, elbows in, straight back. single bicep big bucks. It just going to take just a little bit longer is all. But that's okay. If you want to focus on one arm at a time, you can do that. All right, I'm going back up to 15 to get right back into our rotating test prep. I'm going to do it from the side this time for you. All right. I'm going to be 10. Right over the chest and rotate. One, two, three, Just like that, we are on our way to our third set <laughs> after these last two, of course. All right, we'll go from the side again. We'll go from the side this time. Core tight. Really squeeze that spot. second round. All right, here we go, rotating chest press. Six, 
shake it. Nine. Last one, squeeze it to the top. Ten. Great job. And that's it of round two. We got one more round. Don't run from the burn. <laughs> Running from the burn causes you to lose some of the, I don't want to say lose with some of the results, but run towards the work <laughs> instead of running from it. All right, so we got skull crushers and tricep dips. So for skull crushers, this is our last round. And I am going to start at, we're going to do seven and a half pounds on each side. Right. So for skull crushers, you want to pretend like you have a beach ball between your elbows, okay? So have um, that your arms apart, like there's a beach ball there, and you're going to come straight down beside your head and come straight up, okay? You can squeeze the weight, that helps. You can also just use one weight if you want to. <laughs> that off. But there we go. One weight and come down like that, which I do that sometimes. But I'm going to try it this way today. All right, so we got 10 of these. And keep your elbows not like this, not locked in that way, but keep your arms straight when you come back. Straight back. It's like a, a hinge when you come back. One, two, ways you can do these. I'm going to be modifying and you'll you'll see what I'm doing. I'm going to turn my back to the camera. All right. You can do dips by putting your hands just under your shoulders like this and lifting up and dipping this way. But I have more control right now if I modify and instead of having my my glute squeeze and my core tight up in the air as I sit on the ground and have my feet like they are and my arms and then I dip down this way. I have more control and my form is not on if I do that. So we're doing 10 of these. One. So you want to bend at the elbow? Two. You don't want to rock like that. Okay. You want to bend at your elbows. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! And it really, really, really works those triceps. <laughs> Maybe. At least it does for me. <laughs> All right. Back into wild breakers. Let me go this way with you guys this time. We're going again, 10 of these. All right, so arms up. We're gonna come straight down, bend in at the elbows. One, two, your triceps should really be burning. <laughs> Three. Go from the side this time. 
This is the tricep dips. And again, I'm modifying by keeping my feet down instead of like this, okay? So I'm keeping my feet down. I'm still keeping my core tight. My arms are straight, okay? Like straight back, then in my elbows. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Sometimes the mat curls up. Oh, and you should really be feeling it <laughs> in those triceps. You can almost feel like you have nothing left in those triceps. Thought about increasing this weight a little bit ago. And since doing that second round of dips, I don't think so. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm just going to stay with my back towards y'all. Back into stall pressures. And this is the last stall pressure. Uh, of the workout. So here we go. One. Core tight. Breathe. Make sure you're bending at the elbows. We're coming straight down. Nine. Last one. Ten. Great job. Great job. All right. This is the last of the ten dips. We'll stay this way. Again, modify these like I am if it's too much to be doing up in the air like this. Okay? Modify, bring your glutes on the floor and do it that way. One, two, make sure you're bending at the elbows and not rocking your core in your back. Eight, Ooh. nine, ten. Ooh. Great job. Thank you so much for tuning in. I pray this workout has blessed you, encouraged you, made you stronger. And as always, God bless you all. And we love you. Thank you for tuning in and working out with us from Fat to Fit.